If you like the content today, consider becoming a Patreon supporter of Street Smart Swing. When you do that, you get access to my bonus online swing dance content, where you can learn how to master Lindy Hop with the simplest approach on earth. I'll see you in class. <laughs> Woo! Jamin here, make sure you subscribe and like, or I will find you. This time we are going to Brussels to take a look at a Strictly Lindy competition at an event called Brooks. Brooks? Brooks? I think that's what you call it. I love this format. It's one of my favorite to judge. So let's jump right into it. Let's do it. Here we go. Everybody's stepping up their game with the graphics. I love it. Okay, Haley Meng and Jonas Larson, George and Delphine. Oh boy, this looks, this looks good. Oh, I'm digging all those instruments on the stage. They look expensive. I got a cheap clarinet back there, but I'm just happy I can actually make a good sound out of it. Can't wait to afford a wooden clarinet. Yeah. This is great. Two totally different styles with this these couples. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, I already like the style of this couple that's in the black. I just like the unique makeup of how they look together. He's super tall, she's smaller. I'm not even sure if she's short. It's just that he's tall and you can definitely tell when they're moving together. I think they have a little bit cleaner technique when it comes to moving with your partner. I like that fake out. That was good. Okay, okay. For me, I, I gotta go with the couple in the black. I think this was a, a clean sweep. Yeah, I, I gotta go with the couple in the black. All right, so what happens next? I think one of the couples gets eliminated. And someone goes to the next level. Let's see. Okay, I like this. <coughs> Good old spin the bottle. Lovisa and Nick and Celia and Alessandro. Here we go. Right, that was good. So far, what I'm enjoying is everybody's bringing their energy out. They're, no one's lackadaisical. I have to say that round goes to the couple with the, the red jacket and the brown shirt. 
I feel like their tone is a little bit more symmetric. Like they, they really fit each other in energy. Just a little bit more than this couple here. I feel like sometimes it might be the leader's desire to do something with that his partner, the, the couple that just went, and because there might be just a little bit of a lag with this partner, it's kind of forcing him to go into Charleston. And I can see those little moments like that. So that's why I say this couple in the red and the tan, uh, they tend to match each other's energy just a little bit more so that... Uh, the initiation of the call is clear enough and the response uh, is mirroring the same amount of energy. You don't see like this dislodged um, attempt to, to get a response where the leader's kind of like giving too much energy and the follower is just kind of stuck and you, you feel like you're yeah, kind of pulling the partner. You don't really, I, I saw that a little bit with the couple with the, the gray jacket, red shoes, and she had like the plaid on. Both great dancers, but I can tell when dancers are, are struggling a little bit with each other to uh, get each other's intentions met. Um, and it's really difficult when you're sharing energy with your partner, you know? It's a, it's a very singular thing when you think about swing dancing being something that two people do together as one body. So let's see. Okay. Okay, so I would have picked the other couple in the red and the tan. I just I just felt like the the chemistry was more there and the fundamental res the call and response was a little bit more clear. You could really see that the follower was responding to the amount of the energy uh, the amount of energy that the leader was intending. I didn't see a real struggle with them. So that's my pick. Really fancy footwork with this follower. I think she's got a lot of improvisational skills. Probably a great solo jazz dancer. I still gotta give the upper edge to this couple and the, and the black. Stylistically, I'm enjoying the, the movement that seems a bit chaotic and violent, but yet still orderly. I love it. And I feel they're matching each other's energy more accurately than the other couple. Yeah, this is the, yeah. Yes, good Charleston transitions. <laughs> a little, little Lindy bunny hop. <laughs> that was nice. All right. So th this was fun. This was fun. <sighs> yeah, I, I got to go for me. I'm going with a couple in black. As we would say in hip hop. All day, son. All day. Yeah, I, I got to go with them. And I would have probably put in second place uh, the couple with the red, uh, red jacket. Actually, stylistically, I think, I think, yeah, they would have been in second place for me. Okay, so let's see what's happening next.
That's right. If you like something you see, cheer for it. Hopefully they'll give you more of what you want. So let's see, George and Delphine against Lovisa and Nick. <laughs> yes. Boom. Okay, spin the bottle, they're up. I really love this format of Strictly, where it's more of like a battle. It's, it's, it's just a little bit more personal. You have the audience there, uh, the judges are having to make decisions right in that moment. Yeah, look at the rawness of their movement. And so far, I haven't seen anything that was really choreographed. So I, I don't suspect that these couples are really couples in real life in terms of like partners. But you never know. Sometimes a lot of couples get out there and they just want to improvise and see what they can do. So there you go. Yes. Yeah, sometimes you hit the timing with a move and it, it really is the difference from winning and losing. But in this case, I think uh, this couple has done far more uh, to be recognized uh, than the little trick that they just did at the end of their set there. Yeah. Okay, we got a little bit of choreography now. Yeah, that was good. A lot of energy, folks. A lot of fire. A lot of fire. You guys heard me. You heard my top two so far. Yeah, and I think, I think honestly, the couple that I thought was in second place is kind of creeping in first place now. I was really impressed with how little choreography they did to keep me interested. There was just a natural excitement and rawness it was really really good really really good yeah that, that was fun to watch yeah they even had some great personality they were great too they were great too in a different way you know some people are like really good at the humor part they, they, they like they just they understand it you know when to be funny All right, what's well, about to go down? Yeah, that's good. That's true. Yeah, a lot of these people are teachers. Some of them may not be as famous as your best teachers, but I will challenge you that many of the people who have no names tend to be really good 
and could probably challenge uh, your favorite teacher on an off day. That was good. Really fun, really fun, guys. What did you guys think about it? Man, this was really good, guys. For me, what was really good is the fact that most of these dancers in this competition all had a unique style. I thought that was really neat. I saw a little bit of influence from Harvest Moon Ball, and I saw a little bit of Ninjammers, and uh, yeah, it was just it was just kind of all over the place. And I like that when you have couples who are unique and they end up in a you know strictly competition. I think it makes it much more exciting and less homogenous. Uh, for the audience and usually when it's fresh and new and unique and distinct the audience tends to get more involved you know they, they tend to be a little bit more honest and I gotta tell you for me guys from the beginning I like the couple in the black I mean just the whole idea that they looked different in terms of, of vertical height and the elongation of the leader's lines really made the follow pop and whatever her movement she did simply because you could see the call. The call was just really pronounced. And I really liked a lot of the random stops and awkward movements. I, I think this strictly format really allows for that. It kind of permits a little bit more loose choreography. You know, there are sections that are a bit more tight, but I, I, I think overall, this couple really grasps the, the feeling of what Strictly is all about just this live intense social dance battle with a little bit of choreography there and so they they really nailed it for me and of course you know second place uh, you know i gotta tell you the second place couple really upped their game the more i saw them the more i liked them i mean at first i thought yeah this is good they they clearly understand the technique but what i liked the most about them is their technique I thought they were more technically capable of sharing energy in a way that was really honest and reflective of what the lead's intentions were. And the follower was able to mirror that. So whatever was happening, it just it just looked like it was one body flowing with energy at different points. And so I, I didn't really feel like they were at war in the slightest bit in terms of style and communication. I just, I just felt their, their technical prowess was so high that it has to be recognized. They, they were my second favorite, first when it comes to the technique. But overall, you know me, I'm a little bit more lenient on the technical uh, mishaps in these types of competitions. I'm, I'm usually looking at the, the overall idea. It's like the same way I look at movies. If a movie has a really, really good premise and a really good plot and a story that's so unique i'm a bit more forgiving on the execution and so sometimes you you, you just got to look at certain competitions that way and i think i'm a little bit more of this type of judging perspective with the classic and with the strictly simply because i am looking for more uniqueness uh one in a way that gets the audience more involved in a more structured way with the classic but in a raw way when you have the Strictly. And I love that. So, man, what do you guys think about this one? This was pretty intense in terms of the energy level. I felt like there was a live band playing the music, but it wasn't. It was a track, which is really good. So whatever they did made me feel like it was even more alive and raw than uh, what the music uh, let me on to, to think. Because I, I literally thought the band was back there playing. The instruments were just, you know, sitting back there by themselves, but I totally forgot. So let me know what you guys thought about this in the comment section below. Have you done a Strictly before? You should. You should try it. It's really fun. It's incredibly energizing. So it pushed me to get better and better over the years, and I would encourage you to try it because it, it is one of those types of competitions that just gets the audience involved and, and you feed off of the audience and with your excitement and it's just this beautiful vortex of energy. And so, hey, if you're scared, get over it. Get over it. There's fear at every level. But, but it's better to be courageous than safe. And I'm telling you, if you take a little bit more challenge in your dancing, uh, a, a bit more boldness and courage 
you're going to find yourself growing at an even more rapid rate. So let me know what you guys thought about this in the comment section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my classes online. Take care.